Good Bronx Borough President Ruben Diaz Jr., New York City Council Member Ruben Diaz Sr., and other leaders greeted commuters at 149th Street and the Grand Concourse at the entrance of the two, five, and four trains, one of the city's busiest, to urge them to resist the MTA's plan to bring a 4% fare hike in March. We are here today unequivocally to say that New Yorkers are tired of being asked to pay more for less. The call comes one day after the State of the State Address in Albany, where the governor called for the reorganization of the 17-member board to bring clear leadership while creating funding sources for the New York City Transit, including congestion pricing. While Diaz Jr. expressed support for this and other proposals, he warned that all revenue must go directly to this agency. I say if we're going to have congestion pricing, then it must have a lockbox. Diaz Jr. also addressed the current conditions of the subways and buses. We heard from New Yorkers that they were sick and tired of delays. New Yorkers are sick and tired of the lack of cleanliness in the subway system. And strap hanger Christian Martinez from Morrisania agrees. It's not the right thing to do. They should be looking at the other places that haven't been looked at. And fare hikes really shouldn't go up because the more they go up, the crappier the service gets. The governor also proposed the city and state split the cost of running New York City Transit 50-50, a plan Mayor de Blasio already shared he would not support. They'd also like to clear up who runs the MTA with the borough president proposing that New York City Transit be run through New York City. For BronxNet, this is Arlene Makoko.